for for simplification uh, using for variable k okay, map it allows uh, loop k okay, containing 2 4 8 and also 16 1 okay uh, this is some example okay loops that containing two ones okay this is a cell okay maybe you have a 0 1 cell 0 and 4 0 and 2 and then this is some example loops that containing four ones okay and then this is an example of loop that containing eight ones okay step in simplifying four variable k map so actually as the same step for two variable and uh, three variable so after uh, you map all the values you need to draw loop around adjacent cells uh, start with uh, cells that containing eight ones okay if you have adjacent cells that containing eight ones so you need to draw a loop okay for that uh, cell okay because um, a loop that containing many ones okay will produce a simpler product term so you need to find out there are other possible loops that containing eight ones Okay, the loops may overlap. So after you draw a loop uh, containing eight ones, okay, second step, okay, uh, you need to draw loops that containing four ones. Okay, and then next step, draw loops that containing two ones. Okay, after complete uh, loop all ones in your uh, K-map, you need to find the simplified product term. So this is the guideline okay how many uh, simplified product term okay, or the variable of the product term that you will get based on the number of cell okay for one cell you will get uh, four variable product term for two cell you will get three variable product term for four cell you will get two variable product term and uh, eight cell uh, will get one variable product term and the last one if you can look all cell so the expression will be equal to 1 so after you get all the variable product term or the simplified product term so you need to or okay, all, uh, all the simplified product term this is the example the first example for simplification using four variable k map okay. so you have uh, okay, 1 2 3 4 5 six and seven value of uh, one in your truth table so you need to map uh, into your key map so you can map based on numbering okay or you can find the product term okay, you can write the product term and then you need to uh, plot one for each product term okay, so here you have one two three four five six and seven okay for example for the first one okay, is uh, at the cell number three so here okay the first value of one okay and then cell number four okay and we also have in the cell number five number six okay number seven okay 13 and also 15. Okay. so next step you need to draw loop yeah. So for this example, there are no uh, adjacent cells that contain eight ones. Okay, you just have a cell that contain that contain four ones. Okay, you can start with looping. For example, for the first uh, loop here, it okay, contain four one. Okay, and then you have another balance. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. So these two uh cells actually can be looped together with the next cell okay we can overlap okay, to form a bigger size of loop which is containing four cell and we uh, have uh one okay, another one uh, value that uh, has not been looped so you can overlap with this value okay the next adjacent cell so if you notice, uh, these three loops is, uh, is actually overlap okay, with each other. Right. So next step, you need to find the uh, simplified product term for each loop. Okay, for example, for the first loop, 
So what is the simplified uh, product term? Okay. Uh, so this uh, simplified product term is A bar and B. Okay. So uh, you need to find the same variable for each cell. Okay. For the second loop, okay, you compare between all four cells. Okay, this four cell. Okay, what are the product term okay, for this four cell? And then you just take out the same variable. For this case, the same variable that contain in this four cell are B and D. Okay, so here you have B, here also you have B, B and B, and for each cell also have D. Okay. And the last loop here. Okay, this is this one. Okay, the last loop, two cell. So for two cell, you need to find three variable. Okay, so what are the variable that same in these two cell? So we have A bar, okay, C and D. Okay, so here you have C and D. Here also you have C and D, okay, and each cell have A bar, okay. And last step, last step, sorry, you need to write the equation. Okay, you you need to or all the product term. So you have A bar and D, or with B and D, or with A bar C and D. Okay. So this is the. Uh, Explanation. Okay, next example. Okay, write the simplified expression from the K map shown below. So we assume we have a truth table and then we just map to this K map. So in this example, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you have 10, 1. Okay. So how you are going to simplify this one? Yeah. So the first loop, okay, you have eight cell, okay. This one, okay, you have eight, okay, because this all eight cell is actually adjacent by each other. So this one, this cell adjacent with this one, okay. So this cell adjacent with this cell, okay, and adjacent with this cell, adjacent with this cell. At the same time, this value also adjacent with each other. So that's why we can take eight cell as one loop. Okay, next loop okay, is this four cell. So you can overlap. Okay, you can overlap. Yeah. So this cell adjacent with this one and also adjacent with this value and also adjacent with this value. Okay, so next, okay, you find the simplified product term. Okay, for four variable K map, if your loop contain eight cell, for example, for this one, so you need to find only one variable as your simplified term. Okay, so the, the answer is actually B. Okay, so you need to find what is the similar or the same variable that have in each cell. So here you have B, 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 and B. Okay. So all eight cell have B. So that's why B considered as the simplified uh, product term for the first loop. For the second loop, yeah, the value is C bar and D. Okay. So C bar and D. So your answer, your simplified equation for this game map will be y equal to b or c bar and d. Okay. This is another uh, example. So same with the three variables. So sometime you you will uh, you see that uh, you have. Uh, value of 1 at the edge of each cell. Okay, for example, you have 1 here and you also have 1 here. Okay. 
Yeah. So these two cell, okay, these two cell is actually adjacent with each other. So that's why we can look together for both cell. Okay, by drawing a cylinder. Okay, and then you find the simplified product term. So because the size of uh, loop okay, is actually two cells, so two cells will produce three variables. So that's why the simplified term here you will get three variables B bar, C bar, and D. So this is another example for four variables. Okay. The, the value of uh, top uh, K map also can be looked together with the value of the bottom K map. Okay. So you have four value one, two, three, four. So this four uh, cell, okay, so this four cell is actually considered as adjacent by each other because uh, the differences of variable for this four. Uh, cell is only one variable so you can draw loop okay you draw loop here and then you find the simplified term so simplified term for this loop is b and d bar okay All right so the last one so uh, this uh, will happen only for four variable k map so if you have a value of one okay at the age uh, for your K map, okay, at four edges, okay, so this one, one, two, three, four. So actually, this four cell we consider as adjacent, so that's why you can loop together all four cells. So this is how you draw loops, okay, when it uh, involves four edges, okay. So you need to see how you draw the loop. Okay, so this is how you draw loop okay, for cell okay, that containing uh, four edges. Okay. And then you just find the simplified term because this loop uh, size for cell. So you must find two variables uh, for the simplified term. So the simplified term for this loop is actually equal to B bar and D bar so this will be your simplified okay so we done with the simplification using four variable k map okay